Jones and America Rising PAC Executive Director Alex Smith is back on the show. Welcome, everyone. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Um, so I'll, I'll talk with you about this. Obviously, the right of a free press is enshrined in the First Amendment of the Bill of Rights. Uh, the president knows that his base is distrustful of media organizations that, that seem to relentlessly attack the president. But there has to be a separation here, and there has to be some value in allowing a, a free press to challenge this in every administration. Yeah, it's interesting because, you know, you do support the press. you got to support the press. It's their job to do this. Um, I don't think you should bar uh, journalists from the White House. I didn't like it when they did it to Fox News, uh, when they do it to conservative outlets. But I do think that the press has gotten herself in a little pickle because they've become activists. And so they can't get upset when the president attacks back uh, at them when they throw flame bombs at the president. Remember, this is the same press that used this president during the primary, uh, the Republican primary, for their ratings. They loved them yeah. then. He gave them so much access. They loved them. And then when, the, when that shifted in the general election, they became activists. Yeah. And yes. the tone shifted. And, and I remember that. I remember talking about that with various people uh, who were saying, just wait and see what happens because mm -hmm. they are going to shift. They love him now because yep. they think he's beatable. Exactly. Once he's the nominee, it's going to be very different. And it seems like there is a concerted effort. So how do we still maintain a free press? and push back on some of the editorial na narratives that seem to be just personal axes they're grinding. Mm. Well, I think that this whole this whole conversation about is what the president doing dangerous, I think that 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 is a really that's a bit of a stretch because he's not calling for violence against the press. He's just simply calling out what he sees as bias media coverage. At the same time, I do think that the president, although he is a very off the cuff guy, he should watch his words in a way when he tweets because his words do hold a lot of weight. And all it takes is some crazy person to do something horrible. And then we're having an entirely different conversation. So, Kennedy, that line that you just mentioned, it, it's a fine one. And I think we're all trying to walk it in a very new way that we never have before. All right, Alexander, what do we do? I mean, I think it's all about transparency. A great example of this is recently America Rising through Freedom of Information uh, laws. We requested the records um, from where uh, the Chevy Chase County Executive, um, where Brett Kavanaugh's wife worked, mm -hmm. and we said, what were the New York Times and the AP asking about? They were asking about specific terms related to her, abortion, guns. What, do you, what kind of stories do you think that they were looking to write about Judge Kavanaugh or about his wife? Um, and so, you know, through social media, through transparency, I think we're able to spread that narrative and that counterbalance much more efficiently. All right. Very good. Well, and, and everyone should be able to voice their opinion. But we have to realize sometimes there's a difference between journalism and reporting objective facts yeah. and opinion and, and, and those activism. things. Yes. And a lot of these journalists have become activists. And I think that's the frustration of the president. Well, I am frustrated. I need more panel and more cowbell. I've definitely got more panel after the break. Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh has won over one Republican senator who is on the fence about supporting him.